I turned on my machine because like I stated before, and that's very important, you don't want to thread your needle while your machine is on, okay? So for this project, since I'm going to be using small scraps, I don't really need the big table. But this machine also comes with this attachment has um, also has a inches and centimeter ruler up to 13. And it has this attachment here. So it would be aligned with the machine. And it's it works for when you have bigger, uh, bigger projects. Since I'm always making dolls and little small things, I haven't really had a use for it. Although I have tried it out and it is really comfortable. I'm sometimes tempted to just leave it like that. So this is, these are the two fabrics that I'm going to be working with today. This is a scrap fabric from these old pants of mine. It's not very even. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Anyway, it's not very even. And then this is like one of my favorite scraps from some fat squares that I have. So I'm going to take both sides. Here they are lengthwise. And they're both right side facing up. So this would be wrong side. And this is the right side. So place them on top of each other. And I'm going to match them perfectly. You should use pins. Uh, right now, because my piece is so small, I really don't want to use pins. And I could, but I just don't want to. So now I'm going to start sewing. So I'm going to place my fabrics, uh, fabric strips right here where I want them. Turn my hand wheel on the side and drop the needle down exactly where I want and then I'm gonna drop my press across I'm working hands-free because I like to use my foot pedal the only time I'm gonna touch this area is this back stitch button to reinforce the fabric I do that at the beginning and at the end of my stitch okay <clears throat> my fabric is positioned press a foot down and Medium speed, I'm gonna begin stitching. Now, when I start, I always do just a quick back stitch. Keep going. You can slow down when you feel like you're not confident about what's happening. And I'm going to do a quick back stitch. So I use the hand wheel to lift up my needle. I lifted up the presser foot. And now I'm going to bring both strings, the one from the top and the bottom, back here to my thread cutter. And it should happen quickly. <laughs> There's your stitching. Now what I did was I left this part open so that I can invert it. And now you have this. You can do it with any scraps of fabric in the house. This was not a perfect stitch, but I have different ones, different sizes. And this is a cool project to do also with your kids. So here, everyone has a little coin purse. You can use Velcro to seal it. You can use buttons or even a zipper. Just fun little things that you can try and do. And it just gives it a lot of personality, I think, to have those two types of fabric. In conclusion, I am very, very pleased with this machine I feel like it's easy to learn on easy to work with everything is very clear in the, in the DVD and in the manual is very informational I mean it, it goes into depth 
about all of these presser foots and what they're used for and um, this machine is worth whatever it's worth and if I continue to get busier and need help I would want that person to be using this machine and if I were to teach my children and which they are already learning but like officially teach them I would buy this machine for them so there you have it this is my unboxing sewing 101 review for the brother xr 3340 i absolutely love it and i definitely recommend it to everyone thank you guys for watching i hope to see you in the next video and stay creative i have changed the setting to 74 we were at zero and J so I changed it to 74 because I I like this stitching pattern and I also changed my presser foot remember you just press down in the back and then your bring down your lever and it should catch your presser foot I'm using another scrap from my old pants I'm gonna actually work on the reverse side since it looks like a nice plain white remember these are just scraps so you don't want to use too much of your good fabric and so these scraps I don't mind getting stuff on them what I'm gonna show you is the 74 pattern and you'll see it now these settings are gonna make it this 7 here it's like a default or whatever I'm gonna bring that down to a 4.5 and I'm not going to work so close to the edge because I know with some of these designs it kind of like goes out, especially depending on your width. So I'm going to kind of just position it in the middle of this panel right here. Position it here. I'm going to bring my hand lever and, oh, sorry, I just pulled out the thread. Now you shouldn't be doing this <laughs> with the machine on like I said before, but uh, I'm taking that risk for the purpose of expediting this video. Um, you should not do that. Okay. And kids, remember you always ask your parents for permission to do anything with machines like this. These machines are very dangerous. There have been terrible accidents and so you should use them with caution so I'm going to be doing stitch number 74 wish me luck and you don't want to pull the fabric you just kind of want to guide it especially when you're doing these um, special kind of patterns If you can see that isn't that pretty I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna do another pretty one and even though Valentine's Day is over it should not be over for all of you lovebirds every day should be Valentine's Day so with that in mind we're gonna do 76 also with the end footer I'm going to leave these settings as they are. Look at those hearts. Three, obviously, because three is a perfect number, but look at that. So also, you can do lettering. And so on this bottom panel here, we're going to do some lettering. One thing, let me just put the camera so that you can see it. This little hidden compartment. Sorry that the light is glaring on it. Operation A. Put this to Operation A. I'm sorry that that's blurry for whatever reason. 
the operation A, the number is right above the letter, and that would be the number that you put here. So I'm going to do that in just a second. I got it to the settings that I want. Okay, I switched the settings 